Hi everybody, uh, Professor Mohammed Shaw with you. Uh, our subject today is, um, is to handle uh, absorption uh, refrigeration cycle with uh, water uh, uh, lithium bromide working fluids. Go to your destination folder. Okay, open your folder and you have double simple model and a um, uh, model with um, uh, dynamic model with uh, cooling uh, tower that's going here double clicking okay this is our model uh, our cycle is um, is um, a containing of uh, cooling water uh, cooling tower for cooling uh, water okay and we have a refrigeration uh, absorption refrigeration cycle um, it mainly consists of uh, absorb absorber unit, a uh, generator, which is uh, responsible for heat generation uh, via whatever your uh, kind of heat source. Uh, suppose it's a, a, a blade steam or heat process or uh, uh, from coming from uh, steam generator or whatever or heat exchanger you can add uh, whatever you would like as a steam source here in in, in our case we are going to assume it um, assume this okay and we have condenser unit um, by the use of cooling uh, tower uh, cooling water flow rate okay and we have evaporator with the uh, cooling load suppose you are going to uh, working on a cooling load um, uh, one ton or or one hundred or whatever your co cooling uh, load size, uh, you have to assign this. Uh, okay, first first of all, you have to ask if you are going dynamically, assign your simulation time into infinity or whatever you would like, ten seconds, ten minutes, whatever. Okay, and uh, you can you have to double clicking here. Okay, but be sure that uh, for your model browser that you have to check all of this. Okay, and all of this. Okay, and double clicking here, we can assign some inputs. Uh, for design operating uh, conditions, we have here uh, absorber, absorber temperature. What is your absorber temperature? Okay, and um, your generator temperature, the heat source, or the horse of, of, of the heat coming from your process heat, whatever the type of such configuration. Uh, condenser temperature, what is your condensation temperature for 88 degrees or whatever your, as your uh, temperature. Uh, evaporator temperature, because this is cooling load, I mean this is uh, what this is your gain for uh, for temperature reducing so suppose it's uh, I will keep these uh, changes uh, our load suppose it's uh, I will begin from uh, 5 ton as a cooling load okay let's hit apply okay let's control uh, minus okay good okay control minus again and okay okay this is our cycle Okay, we have uh, to assign some individual uh, operating conditions uh, for each unit. Suppose for let's begin from the absorber, absorber unit. We have to assign our absorber effectiveness. Okay, can control your effectiveness based on your design, heat exchanger effectiveness, because all of these units are heat su such some kind of uh, of heat exchanging. It's heat exchanging unit, uh, even the condenser, it's exchanger between cold side and hot side and so on. And generator, it's it's exchanging also, heat exchanger. Uh, so I will keep these values here, design here. We are going to calculate the effectiveness of the condenser because we already calculating the input uh, the cooling water to the cycle. And the evaporator, okay, controlling the load and uh, calculating the effectiveness for performance 
we have to uh, assign uh, uh, reference temperature because we are going to calculate the exergetic uh, exergetic structure rate through the, the whole cycle okay so I already uh, prepared everything uh, just going here oh for a cooling tower let's go and assign some inputs suppose I'm elite air temperature suppose it's 25 and um, cooling tower effectiveness you can control this also okay uh, I will keep these values here I, I'm just running it as an example in order to show you how to run your model or how to extract your your uh, outputs so uh, you can click on and control whatever you would like to control or even you can go here and select um, sources signal generator or signal builder or random number or waiting okay and you can control uh, uh, you can create a dynamic model by the use of uh, actual operating conditions you can feed your actual data um, by using signal builder or uh, uh, from workspace or from um, uh, from uh, mat file uh, Oh, anyway, I'm just controlling this cycle uh, manually. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to control it manually. So I have to double clicking here and going inside here. Okay, okay, okay. Suppose I need to hit run first. Let's hit run and see what we can do about that. Hit run and um, okay let's increase our load i'm increasing my uh, load as you can see here a ton uh, uh, up to suppose i'm going for uh, uh, 50 tons or okay going for 50 tons and see what is the effect of the cooling load on uh, the whole cycle mass flow rates and, and uh, temperatures and, uh, and everything Okay, up to 39, 40, 41. Okay, I'm just increasing, increasing uh, the cooling load. Okay, okay, just enough for this. Okay, let's hit. Okay, and stop. Okay, so I stopped uh, uh, my uh, running. Okay, let's go inside. Suppose I'm going from. Uh, you have this is your uh, cooling um, tower okay okay but first of all we have to check all of these um, of your signals you have to in order to to send your signals to the output results you have to double click on your uh, on your which stream you would like to uh, to discover and check your uh, streaming I already checked before from here and send signals to the data inspector okay or you can send it to your workspace or whatever let's go inside uh, in each unit and see uh, our results okay let's begin from the absorber absorber this is outlet uh, cooling water this is um, outlet cooling water of uh, going from the absorber unit going to the condenser i am talking about this stream i'm talking about this one this is stream the cooling water out going to the condenser okay so it's around 32 okay what is that's been from the uh, cooling tower for cooling towers you can um, discover tower diameter tower heights uh, pressure losses, uh, fan power, because it's this is mechanical cooling tower. Okay, it's uh, for um, uh, cooling range. I think it's cooling range from okay from one up to uh, seven hundred and eighty tumble hour. Okay, quite interesting. So uh, let's go for um, this. Is, okay, tower weight you can find it because this is a design model. Okay, our outlet cooling outlet water temperature uh, 
uh, it will be uh, around uh, 29 and it's it uh, drops from um, uh, 36 so our temperature coming from the condenser is around 36 and it drops from 36 this is a little hot water to become around uh, I'm sorry to become around uh, 29 okay and this is a uh, uh, wet bulb temperature it's around 25 quite normal and outlet air temperature outlet a uh, hot air temperature because inlet was around 25 and now because we already assigned inlet air temperature so now we have here uh, nearly 32 approach uh, cooling tower range you can by controlling your operating temperature and effectiveness you can change all of these parameters up to your optimized value suppose you have an op uh, you can make some uh, runs and compare runs and discover the effect on the cycle performance and XCG destruction heat losses uh, by water heat gain by air the same uh, make up water uh, Evaporative losses, flow velocity, um, evaporative heat losses, kilogram per hour, and brown, blue down losses, and so on. Okay, this is your final value. Okay, this is your final value. Okay, for absorber, we have we can calculate pressure uh, and Salby outlet from the absor absorber, uh, concentration. Uh, of lithium bromide concentration of lithium bromide going to uh, kilogram of lithium bromide per kilogram of total uh, mass flow rate and we have strong uh, mass flow rate of lithium bromide and weak uh, mass flow rate we have weak and strong and this is cooling water from the absorber to the condenser okay this is total cooling water flow rate by uh, the cooling tower so we need 14.25 kilogram per second in order to um, uh, complete our process let's go for uh, okay we have here our inputs okay this is inlet uh, cooling water from the cooling tower and we have here outlet uh, to the condenser Okay, for heat exchanger, heat exchanger, I mean about, I mean, this is um, heat exchanger here between uh, the generator and absorber, this is heat exchanger unit. Okay. For heat exchanger, we have here outlet uh, temperature, outlet in Salvi. Outlet in temperature from the absorber to the heat exchanger is 49. And only to the exchange from the generator side is around uh, 68 outlet in Salby and a heat exchanger area you can calculate heat exchanger area for generator we have here um, the same uh, pressure we have pressure in Salby okay and this is the thermal power for uh, the generator and mass flow rate mass flow rate of um, of steam um, uh, absorption rank uh, refrigeration cycle okay this is your driving steam mass flow rate and this is our area for condenser our effectiveness is around 30 percent so you can control some outputs in order to uh, or some, I'm sorry some inputs in order to change or increase your effectiveness by controlling the temperature so this is our outlet final outlet cooling water temperature goes to the cooling tower and condenser will be condenser power condenser area because lower effectiveness means high um, surface area and this is um, uh, inlet cooling and solve. for evaporator we have here pressure of the evaporator and Salby uh, recycle stream and thermal power and area of the evaporator okay okay for performance we can calculate the coefficient um, uh, the cof um, coefficient of performance and maximum uh, COP 
ideal and we have a ratio uh, this over this one and we have here total exergy uh, destruction rate through the cycle so we can go here for uh, you can go outside here in MATLAB workspace and you can discover your results okay you can discover your results here okay or uh, clicking on uh, data inspector for that inspector and so yes we have here okay we can uh, this is our cop or maximum cop a relative uh, performance total exchange destruction as you can see here uh, absorption temperature outlet cooling water temperature okay and uh, we have uh, we have here uh, pressure uh, in salby of uh, this in salby concentration okay uh, mass flow rate strong mass flow rate and we have uh, weak mass flow rate stronger weak and we have cooling uh, torf cooling water from absorber uh, to the um, let's uh, uh, to the condenser okay and we have absorber power here and we have um, Let's go for uh, generator power on the same curve, and we have evaporator uh, uh, evaporator power. Let's see evaporator load. Evaporator load, okay. And uh, we can discover uh, so many parameters. You can uh, our condenser. Let's go for condenser power. Okay, nearly nearly the same. Uh, they are uh, recycle uh, water uh, uh, mass flow rate or recycle mass flow rate and um, we have evaporator area and can um, discover a generator area as you can see here heat exchanger area and um, absorber area for here i can add a absorber bar okay uh, let's go for uh, cooling tower and um, this is a um, uh, makeup water uh, heat gain and cooling tower range uh, cooling tower approach uh, outlet air temperature uh, air mass flow rate uh, through the cooling tower and a wood bulb temperature outlet water temperature okay and um, evaporative area and, and so on so you can uh, discover many many parameters you can address you you can decide which parameter you are going to to deal with by just uh, double clicking here and check these uh, three dotted and check here a signal stream signal check this one so your stream this is small box here square box uh, so that's telling us that your this signal is going to be stored in a signal inspector but first you have to uh, name your uh, signal you can name it okay uh, i'm going to remove this one okay and you need for reference temperature okay so it's a, a quite interesting model you can uh, uh, deal with this uh, uh, technique of modeling uh, our intention is to add uh, another um, uh, refrigeration cycle such as vapor uh, refrigeration uh, vapor compression refrigeration and um, uh, you can change some uh, operating conditions in order to um, the change to, to realize um, the effect on performance or area or exchange destruction rate or on uh, the effectiveness in some uh, cases uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in, uh, in our uh, model uh, don't forget to like share uh, subscribe uh, thank you uh, very much